Hey guys, this tutorial is um, using Games US and we will be looking at how to calculate frequencies and then how to visualize them. Uh, so because it's almost December, December is in 55 minutes for me and already there for some of you. Uh, it's the season where people celebrate lots of fun holidays. So I decided that we're going to work with whiskey lactone and I found this molecule on this website called Silly Molecules, which is a list of molecules with funny names. And uh, whiskey lactone is apparently a molecule responsible for some of the taste and smell of American bourbon whiskeys. So I don't really know what this is, but sounds kind of cool to me. And according to Wikipedia, um, the isomer that's responsible for uh, really the uh, aroma in whiskeys is the SS isomer. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, so we have to begin by drawing the molecule. Um, fairly simple. Uh, and once you're done with drawing, you can pre-optimize using a force field. So here I have UFF, but lately I've been kind of liking more and more the results I get from MMFF94 here. Uh, so once these numbers stop running around, that means that you hit some sort of uh, convergence for the force field. You can click on stop and then go into extensions, games, input generator. Click on generate and save it uh, under a file name you'll recognize and then open this file in uh, notepad because we'll have to add some of the um, keywords. So uh, this is the input that I had uh, to begin with. Uh, I want to bring your attention that the run type is actually optimized and not uh, Haitian or anything else because prior to any frequency calculation you should optimize your molecule. It's very important. Uh, so from here you have several options. Well, two options. The first option is that you just optimize and then in a separate input file you take the coordinates from the optimized run and you run a Haitian calculation. If you choose to do that, your input will look like this. Here you have the run type Haitian and you have the coordinates of the optimized molecule. If you don't want to bother with that, the other thing you can do is um, add this line over here uh, the stat PT with this keyword uh, which stands for Haitian in the end so it will ask um, the program to run a uh, Haitian calculation if the optimization has been successful. Uh, so this is what I did and when I ran it the first time I actually got an error and I want to show you so that if you get it as well, you'll know what to do. The error was memory request exceeds available memory. And here um, it tells me that, oh, for you, this is how much you need and this is how much you gave. So I copied this number back into the input changed it here and actually added a bit more just to make sure that everything will be fine and I reran the calculation it was perfectly fine. So now let's look at the output. Um, the, the interesting part for us which are the frequencies is all the way at the end. So if you scroll to the end of your input uh, output and then you find this line um, followed by a list of frequencies. This is basically um, what we're looking for. You also have the thermochemistry data followed. So now let's look at it um, in Matmol PLT. You can just open the log file um, and uh, we can go through the energy plot 
see how the convergence went pretty smoothly, no problem. And if you go into sub window and frequencies, you get this list of all the frequencies with the, the graph of the intensity. So here you can pick any frequency uh, and then go into view and animate mode and then um, your molecule will start uh, wiggling accordingly. Uh, so if you stop the, uh, the calculation you, you can choose the show normal mode and you will see those little red uh, arrows that point um, along the vector um, that corresponds to this normal mode. So um, I think this is pretty much it. Um, one last thing is that I think the latest version of Avogadro doesn't actually open games outputs anymore. So if you are not a big fan of Magmo PLT and you want to stick to Avogadro, you'll probably have to use um, not the latest version of Avogadro. You gotta you gotta download the one um, like the previous. Um, but uh, that's it basically yep okay so to wrap up um, it's fairly simple don't forget to optimize uh, make sure that the frequencies you get are what you expect so if you are in ground state then you shouldn't have any uh, negative frequencies if you are looking for a transition state then you should have only one and it should correspond to the reactant co reaction coordinate that you are investigating um, on this that's all that i have and i'll see you next time